So this will hopefully be a pretty short video because as a novice Linux user, I'm going to try using a tiling window manager. This is what all the expert Linux users tend to use, I, I, I believe. Not all of them, but quite a few experts seem to be using this. And it seems to be a productivity booster for them. So it's kind of cool, and I'm open to trying it. I don't know what I'm doing, though. That's the big problem. So I'm going to log in, and I have a guide open on the right screen. That's not actually the screen you're seeing right now. That just gives me a basic few commands to use to start using a tiling window manager. Now, I already went ahead and installed this just to save you the time. It's pretty much from the terminal, you run a command to open the installer, and then I, I installed it. it. It was the same as it is for other Fedora installs, but I went ahead and installed this. This is the Fedora i3 window manager spin, the i3 tiling window manager spin of Fedora, by the way, and you can find it on their website. So and I'll link that in the description of the video. So first off, you're presented with really nothing, just a wallpaper once you log in. And to bring up something, to bring up a terminal to start from somewhere, you can hit the mod key it's referred to. The mod key is the Windows key, or think of just, you know, the little square Windows key that you have on your keyboard. Um, or I think it's a super, super key, you can call it, whatever you want to call it. But they refer to it as the mod key in the documentation for i3 Window Manager. So you're going to press the mod key and enter, and it's going to bring up a terminal. Now, if I press it again, it brings up another terminal. So it's like, okay, now it's just throwing windows up on the screen, right? Now, the thing I like about this tiling window manager is you're, you're using all of your screen efficiently. You're not having windows just scattered out on your screen at different sizes. Each window is, is taking up some space, right? And the whole screen is, is utilized. Okay, that's cool. But what if I want to go to another window that's not one of these two windows? Well, then you have different workspaces you can switch to. In each workspace, you could have windows open in that workspace, and you can go between them really quickly with your keyboard. And that's the idea. So you're going to use your mod key and hit different numbers on your keyboard to go to that different workspace. So if I hit mod 2, it takes me to workspace number 2. And in this workspace, I could open up some terminals. I could open up three terminals. Let's say, let's say in workspace 2, I like to have three terminals. In workspace 1, when I hit mod, mod 1, it takes me back to workspace 1. You can see I have my two terminals. Mod, in mod 2, I have my terminals uh, workspace with three terminals. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, what if you don't like the layout of the windows? Like if you, if you want them maybe, um, I believe it's called tiled. Let's see. Default key bindings. So on, their, on the documentation for i3 Window Manager, it talks about how to use um, different bonding, bindings and doing different layouts with the windows. And there's one called the stacked layout. And that's the S key. So you're going to hit mod S. So let's do that right now. And you see how it, now it's stacked the windows. Now like I have one full window, but behind it you can see that there's another window. They're stacked. So it's instant. It's, it's very quick. I didn't have to drag the windows and, you know, get them to tile a certain way. And it's just, it's instant. So if you're a keyboard person, this is really going to be powerful if, you, if you're used to using keyboard shortcuts and you're comfortable with that. Now, I'm in the stacked layout, of course, where the windows are taking up the full screen and they're stacked and you can see, like, you can click between them. Now, what if I want to go back to the tabbed layout where they're just kind of next to each other? Well, the tabbed layout is the W key. So you're going to hit mod W. And now I'm back to, or I'm sorry, this is the tabbed layout, not the one that I was on, but this is a tabbed layout where you can now see up at the top, I have like a little little tabs I can click on, if you will. So let's go back to the default layout, that's E. E is the default layout, there we go. And that's where I have the three windows. So now I could go, so it, it takes me some work because I'm new at this. Um, if I want to go back to the stacked layout, I'm going to hit uh, S. So there's S. And what was it? The tab layout was W and then E. So look how fast that goes. So S, W, E, S, W, E. I can go between those layouts so quickly. And once I get comfortable with that, I'm assuming it, it, it gets better. And I'm just amazed at how good people are with this window manager when I see them use it in videos. It's just like, wow. If you really want to change the way your workflow goes, I, I mean, this is this is a way to do that. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that, honestly. I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty cool. 
maybe I'd have to really dive in and just make myself use it on a laptop. So maybe I'll try that. I'll install this on a laptop. I'll use it for a few days and see how I get by and see if it starts to become natural how I switch between Windows and use the browser. So let's do something like open, let's let's install the Brave browser. So I think I already did that. Did I install Brave? Let's type Firefox. Okay, and I'm doing it, for, I just ran it from the terminal, which is not the way you have to do it. There's actually, um, let's, let's do this. Let me close, how do I close Firefox? <laughs> You know what? Let's kill this terminal. That'll kill Firefox. Uh, okay. So anyways, you're going to hit the mod key plus the letter D. That's what brings up this little launcher at the top. And you can just start typing what you want to launch. That was how I should have done it. And of course, you can tell I'm very new at this. So let's hit mod E. We could change the... Let's do mod W. There we go. I did the tile view. So I can go between... That's kind of cool. So here we are. We're at Fedora Start. I just want to see how easy it is or how difficult it is for me to download something like a browser and install it on, you know, like when I would do it normally in a graphical window manager. So we're going to go to Download Brave Browser. I always use this as my example. Okay. I'm going to go there. And we are still running Fedora Linux. It's just a different window manager, right? So we're going to go look for, uh, we're going to scroll down Fedora. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to, now this is where I could see the tile windows come in handy. Now we're going to hit window key uh, S, no, uh, E. Okay. That works. Okay, cool. So now I got each, I got the windows kind of like up next to each other. Let's get this. Uh, uh, let's let's exit this one terminal so I can give myself some more screen. Okay, cool. Getting the hang of it. We're gonna copy this command here. Paste. I'm definitely. It it it, it takes some getting used to. This is there's no doubt. But side by side, this is pretty easy to p copy and paste these commands in, right? All right, and it's going to ask us yes, and we're going to install Brave Browser. That wasn't too hard. So now I can go to this Brave Browser here, and if I hit Alt, does it give me the win? Yeah, it gives me the menu. File. Okay, cool. Go to Quit. And we're just about done installing the Brave Browser. Now, I want to see, I've never done this, if I hit Window Key D to bring up the launcher at the top, if I start typing in Brave, is it already there? It is. That is cool. So you don't have to worry about it populating. Let's type in a keyring password. And here we are. We're in the Brave browser. So now what if I want Brave as, let's just click through here. What if I want Brave as the full screen? If I hit Window key E, there's the tiling. Uh, I got them side by side. Let's hit W. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well. And now I could go between different workspaces. I could go to workspace one. There's those two terminals just waiting for me. Nothing changed. I like that. Nothing got moved. It's just right there. Let's go back to workspace number two. That's the Brave browser. So I could see getting used to this. I could see myself getting used to this where I could have my browser on workspace two, have my terminal on workspace one, and maybe workspace three could be like a project I'm working on, like a graphical design, you know, the GIMP or something like that. I could have that open. And then Workspace 4, I could have um, a video game. You know, I could do something like that. And I think that would be pretty cool to try. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm, with a, I'm approaching this with an open mind and see how I do. I feel I, I'm not great at this, but whatever. There's always a first time, right? It's like when I played drums, I wasn't good at them for a long time. And it took, it took lots of practice. So... Thanks for watching this video. I hope this is informative and helps you decide if you want to try this out.